So where we left off, we had just made a graph of, of different profiles for 200 milligrams of chlorophyll. So what I'm going to do now is compare that to what happens when I only use 10 milligrams of chlorophyll in the leaves. So first up, I might just delete this graph. And just to avoid confusion, I'm going to delete these two columns of data and focus only on the reflectance one here. And I'm going to type in 200 milligrams of chlorophyll so I don't forget there as well. Now I'll open a file that I made in the meantime where I've created um, a simulation based only on 10 milligrams. Now if you can't see the Liberty Output file in the folder where you know it is, just change this to all files here and then you'll see it pop up there. And again, we'll make it delimited by space and finish that up. I'm going to just grab this column, copy it, and paste it into the other file there. Okay, and this is our 10 milligrams of chlorophyll here. Now we can quite simply graph these in the same way that we did before. Okay. Make that a little bit larger and also want to fix up these x-axes here. So we're going to make it go from 400 nanometers to 2500. And the y-axis only needs to go from 0% reflectance. Okay, so what you can quite clearly see is there is a big difference in the reflectance values in this region of the spectrum. So the idea in this part of the practical is to play around with some of the values that you can change in Liberty and see exactly what it's doing to your spectrum and what areas in the spectrum it's changing. Now don't try and change too many things at once, otherwise you'll get confused about what is causing what effect.